Must be five o'clock. <laughs> I just... Okay, so here's a, here's a weird thing that happens to me sometimes. I don't know if this happens to anybody else or if I'm really weird, but I've always been like... I've always had like a strangely strong body clock where I can like kind of tell what time it is by suddenly I'll have a memory come upon me. It's hard to explain, but like here's an example. When I was in primary school, at lunchtime, uh, before the bell rang uh, to signify the end of lunch, over the loudspeaker they'd play music and it was always the same music. It's like the one that goes na 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 baby give it up give it up baby give it up terrible 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 song that haunts me to this very day because I had to hear it every single day it was the same track on the same CD every single day at the end of lunch and at the end of recess would drive me nuts right but I used to be able to tell exactly when it was about like okay so not exactly but like i would get to the end of lunch and be like bell's about to go because i could hear it in my head already it had already like come over my come into my mind i would just be able to hear no 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 baby give it up playing in my head and i'd be like bell's about to go and then without fail like less than a minute later the actual music would start playing uh, yes, so Darcy, for the last like five minutes of lunch, they would play the music over the loudspeaker so you would know that the bell was about to go, wrap up what you're doing, start heading back to class, and if you weren't back by the end of the bell, sorry, if you weren't back by the end of the music, then you got in trouble. Uh, but yeah, so I would know when it was the end of lunchtime because I'd hear it in my brain because I was so used to that like amount of time expiring. I would start to hear it. And for years after leaving primary school, around that time of day, I would still hear it in my head and be like, oh God, it must be nearly two o'clock. I can hear the music in my head. No, Regit, man, it wasn't a posh school. We went, I went to a public school in the middle of a country town, on the outskirts of a country town, actually. Darcy went to a posh school, not me. Darcy went, Darcy went to the posh school with a multi-story building. I went to a freaking poor little country town on the uh, country school on the outskirt of a town of my hometown where there was 90 kids when I first started there and when I finished there was only 400 or 500 or something anyway posh school don't give me this crap they would just play music over the speakers that's not posh wow that really pisses me off <laughs> not posh they would play, there would be music playing before the bell to signify the end of lunch. Uh, it was very normal to us, but it was weird to have that music play in my head at just the right time each day. I forgot to put the pouts on this so that I knew that that was upon me. And uh, that has persisted with other things as well. So I guess I have a good body clock. I always wake up at 7.30 now, uh, my day's off. Um, I can't sleep past that point because I'm too used to getting up early. But in a more relevant uh, way, or even more strange thing, got you going, must be a Victorian thing. Maybe, I don't know. It was always the same music. I don't know if it was always, I feel like at some point it may have been something else, but I only ever remember it being at most two different songs. They just had one CD that were playing there. It wouldn't play the radio or, anyth or anything. We don't have bells, we only have Spotify. What the hell are you, what are you talking about? It must be a state school thing, maybe. Or maybe it was just a my school thing, I don't know. But yeah, they just had one CD that they would play. And it wasn't even like the actual version of the song. It was like a really cheap cover on like some cool music for cool kids kind of CD. But anyway, what I'm getting to is what just happened to me just now was I had the overwhelming urge to watch The Nanny. The sitcom, The Nanny, starring Fran Drescher, suddenly came over me. I, I needed to watch it and I could hear the theme song in my head. And that's how I knew it was five o'clock because I would be home from school and mum would switch it over from Cartoon Network or whatever what, that I was watching, swap it over from Cartoon Network or Disney Channel or whatever, 
to TV One to watch The Nanny at five o'clock. And I, I love The Nanny. Like I was really into it. I loved watching that with my mum. Uh, I was all about The Nanny, but it's cursed me because it would happen nearly every day around five o'clock every now and then if I'm just minding my own business doing this or whatever I'll just hear the nanny theme song in my head and be like oh man I want to watch the nanny and it's only on Stan and we don't have Stan that's not fair that's it I'm subscribing to Stan after this so I can watch the nanny <laughs> it's a good show Darcy hates it but I love it I want to make her watch it I don't know, maybe we'll just watch Frasier instead. At least we both like Frasier. But anyway, that's my story for you. Was it Hits for Kids? I Maybe. I don't know what the actual CD was. Um, I was just making stuff up. That's what they use, usually call that sort of... Uh, that sort of... CD of, like, bad covers for children. Anyway, that's my story. You did get me going before Red Jeep, man. I'm not happy about that. Hey guys, you know what time it is? New bag hype time, people. Can I get some new bag hype? In the chat, please. New bag hype, let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on, come on! New bag hype, please. Where's my new bag hype? There it is! There's a new bag hype. That's, a, that's only a little bit of new bag hype. Doesn't do anything for you. What about the new bag? Does the new bag do anything for you? Let's see the hype, people! Look at all these little bits and pieces! Also really, uh, pushing up the piece count here. He arrived in his- Wait, what are you talking about? It was a normal primary school, but Richard Pratt actually went there. That's right! Richard Pratt came in his helicopter to open the, uh, playground that he donated to our school. That's how, that's how small and poor a school it was. We had to have a playground donated by a rich guy that went there when he was a child. Uh, which he named after his best friend. So it was the Digger James Playground. I'm pretty much doxing myself. This is giving away the town I grew up in. But, um... Yeah, the Digger James Playground. It was an amazing playground that they... They got introduced... They got built in my sec... Uh, in, when I was in grade two or so. The hype made my computer blue screen? What is wrong with your computer, lovely? I love how you're asking your mum over chat what time you're eating dinner. The timing was a thing. What is wrong with your computer? There's blue screening from hype. Do I dare arrange all these little pieces? Am I that pedantic? I can't get hype because the plastic rustling is awful. What the Fabesi? What, what the hell are you doing? You gotta... You gotta get your priorities in order. Rip though, I was in the middle of a half stone game. <laughs> okay, so it was probably half stone that made it crash then, but oof. I've never gotten into half stone. Is that many, is that, is it a fun game? Should I give it a shot? It's gonna be too addictive, isn't it? I'm gonna get addicted to it. Vasey, you aren't sorry. I know you're not sorry, I'm onto you. Uh, but yeah, we had a very cool playground that Richard Pratt donated. That's right. He came in a helicopter and landed on the, on the uh, football oval as we all sat outside and watched. And the school didn't tell us what was happening. So they, the school just got us all out onto the uh, oval, around the outskirts of the oval and said, all right, just wait here. And we're all just like sitting around. waiting. we're like, what are we waiting for? And then a freaking helicopter lands. Can you imagine like how much that blew our minds? That was a very fun experience. I can't believe mom had to ask if I remember that. Of course I remember that. I think all the parents were there as well. Didn't you come out as well, mom? Like they would have told the parents what was happening, but you all kept it from the kids. So we're all just like, what? What are we waiting for? And then a freaking helicopter lens for the grand opening of our playground. It was an undercover playground as well. So when it got drizzly, you could still uh, play under the playground. There was this massive like roof over it. That was awesome. But now that school is completely different. Whenever I drive past, there's always some new building that's been added and like there's barely any like playground left. They built playgrounds all over the, uh, sorry, they built buildings all over the football oval and the f soccer oval and everything like that. Soccer field rather. 
It's ridiculous. Like, the poor kids have got barely any playground left. May as well be a city school. Because that was one of the best things about the, uh, the school I went to, was that we had a massive amount of land to run around on. We were free-range kids at that school. But anyway, I have fonder memories of coming home and watching Disney Channel, watching Studio D on Disney. Are there any, like, OzStar or Foxtel kids in the chat that can relate to me about Studio D on Disney Channel? Studio D was the goddamn bomb. How good is Recess and Weekenders and stuff? I'd watch that, and then eventually Mum would take over, switch it to TV1 for, um, the nanny, and that would, uh... <laughs> be permanently ingrained into my brain at this time, forevermore. I can hear Fran Drescher's voice in my dreams. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. In high school we had a cop come and perform one lunchtime, that was cool. I feel like, yeah, we had... I feel like we had some... Yeah, we had Constable E... Ted E. Bear or something come to our school and talk about safety or something. One of my friends was a, uh, was a police officer. I think he was involved with that. I should Google him. I already, I met him, mum, I know all about him. Or are you telling other people to Google Digger James? Yeah, he was a soldier in World War II. He had his, uh, right, World War II? He had his leg blown off by a landmine. So he had a fake leg. He's telling Red Jeep, she's telling Red Jeep man, right? Who is Digger, right? I had football players at my school to teach us football. Yeah, I think we had that at one point as well. Um, one of my substitute teachers was uh, Brett Delidio's father. The, he used to play for Richmond. I know he doesn't anymore. I think he went to the Saints or something. If Bengers was here, he'd tell me who he went to. Lovely says, Frick yeah, those shows of my childhood. Hell yeah. Lovely, you watch Studio D as well? So in New Zealand, did you have the same hosts of Studio D as me? As, as Australia, did you have Dan and Amber and stuff? Who remembers Harold the Giraffe in a van? Of course we remember Harold the Giraffe in the van. The, the, uh, the Life Ed van. Was it one van or did they have more than one? I'm pretty sure they had more than one. I miss Healthy Harold, lol, was the best part of each year in primary school. For some reason, when I was a kid, I was so into Healthy Harold. I drew fan art of Healthy Harold and his friends on MS Paint when I was like six. I can actually distinctly remember that. Now he is a puppet. He's always been a puppet. What? What are you talking about? Nanny laugh. <laughs> it's the same laugh as Bugs Bunny. Harold still is a thing, I'm pretty sure. Well, did you have healthy Harold in, the, in uh, New Zealand as well, lovely? If it was one, then we would have sat in the same van. That's true. If they only had one van, we, we were all in the same van. That's so cool that you have him in, in New Zealand too. He was big when your brothers were little. Are you sure? I remember him always just being a, a arm puppet thing that came out of a curtain. Life Ed truck, wow. That's awesome. I can't believe that's in New Zealand as well. Poor proper Barnstar and all the other Americans in chat are like, what the hell are they talking about? You don't think he's around anymore? You sure? I guess I, I wouldn't be surprised if they cut, cut funding or something. Um, he was an arm puppet for you. Yeah, well, you are the same age. Mum reckons he was bigger when, uh, when, when my brothers were kids. Anyway, I've got to build this freaking thing. We're running out of time. I didn't want to go into tomorrow. And lovely, did you did you watch Studio Disney, Studio D on Disney Channel? I didn't see if you answered that. And if so, do you know if it was the same like Studio D as Australia or did you have your own New Zealand Studio D? Because I can't find any footage anywhere online of Studio D, like actual segments. I've seen one montage of Amber, who was one of the hosts. But other than that, that's the, that's the only thing I've ever been able to find from Studio D. And I'm hoping that maybe somewhere I'll have like some recorded VHS tapes or something. Whoa, Ekibabs! That's a name I haven't seen for a while. Rain in a party of 16, damn, how we doing? 
Thank you so much for the raid! I mean, I think I heard that it wasn't... Wait, heard that it wasn't a thing? Oh, Healthy Herald? I'm sure... We're, we're talk, if, if, if anyone around here in the raid is uh, from Australia, get comfy because we've been talking about the Life Ed Van and Healthy Herald. <laughs> Bit of a weird program. I don't know. Taught me how to brush my teeth properly. Thank you so much for the raid, Eki Babs. How was your stream? What were you streaming? I hope you had fun. I really appreciate that. Hey, Shaggy A? Shaggy A? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Square Game. Square Goon, rise up. Uh, man, we are getting closer and closer to reaching our big, big milestone of 750 followers. And man, that gets me excited because when we reach 750 followers, Darcy and I are gonna be baking a cherry pie on stream. And you know you wanna see that. I didn't mean to press the chatting button, but I'll I'll, I'll, I'll go with it for a, my, for a minute here. We had that over here. Oh, T-Squire, where are you from? The Freaky Giraffe. Freaky Giraffe? How dare you, sir? Freaky Giraffe. I resent that. Healthy Harold was not freaky. We had Yambi in Western Queensland. Yambi? What is that? I like how you saw you doing this leg. I knew I had to raid. Man, I appreciate that so much, Eki Babs. This Lego set has been incredible. Well, since there's a whole bunch of new people here, I will show it off a bit. B Jag, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Square Gang, my friend. Square Gang, has that pushed us up to 740? Holy crap, we're only 10 people away, 10 followers away. 10 followers away from our big milestone of 750 followers, which means Cherry Pie coming soon. Cherry, our baking streams, it'll be our third time doing a baking stream when we get to that. And when we do, it's gonna be so much fun. Uh, when we do baking streams, we encourage everyone to bake with us. It's a bake along, you see? And then everybody gets to share and enjoy the delicious pie afterwards. You're from regional Victoria. Hey, me too, man. Country Vic. Welcome, bloody Bosch. I was so happy I got to hug Harold. Oh man, hugging Harold, that was always the best. <laughs> hugging Harold the giraffe, hugging some strange lady's arm because it's in a, go it's in a giraffe suit. You love to see it. Eki, how is your stream? Tell me about your stream. Can we get, we're gonna get a shout out to Eki Babs over here. I think I spelled it right. Uh, uh, yes, I did. Okay. Thank you so much for rating. I really appreciate you bringing your lovely community in here. You'll heat up a frozen cherry pie, that counts. That does not count, proper barn style. You have to bake with us. It's Link, not Zelda. That's, ain't that the truth? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Square Gang, nine to go. Nine to go until we hit our, I thought previously impossible to reach goal of 750 followers. That is insane. That is crazy. Eki Babs, you said that you saw me ba uh, building this and you, had to, you knew you had to hype. So I better show you what you want to see. Hold on, but maybe I'll show you the actual NES first for, for a little bit of context. For a little bit of context. Hey, Androck I didn't realize you were here. Here is the actual NES, right? Very familiar, great box we all know and love, okay? And now, do not be fooled. This is a completely different object I'm picking up. Check out the Lego NES. Isn't it beautiful, folks? Isn't it something? It can be yours for just a low, low price of $349.99. It is... So highly detailed, controller ports, buttons, power LED, video and audio in, I mean outs rather, RF out, RF channel switch, power adapter. It's beautiful. And the piece de resistance. It's got a damn cartridge, people. How cool is that? And you can actually put it in. If you're not a... Scrub like me. You can put it in, lock it in, and push it down, ready to play. And then of course, it does include a controller so you can play Super Mario Bros. This is a pretty hype situation, am I right, ladies? Super hype, Mrs. Styles. And the, car the, the controller is one-to-one. -one. The actual NES is a little bit smaller than the, than the real NES. Sorry, the Lego NES is a little bit smaller than the actual NES. Clownsy, thank you so much for plugging that Discord and the merch as well. My PR guy, Clownsy, over here. Undrock me's 
You guys are getting cheeky like now. Trains. Choo choo. I like trains too. I, you know, I've never built a Lego train. We had a Lego mo space monorail, but I've never built an actual train. Did we get a Lego train? I did kind of want to get the Hogwarts Express, but I couldn't convince myself to buy it. Because <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put it. Thank you for the 100 bits, Undrock Me's and Mrs. Styles. I see what you're trying to do there. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate the effort. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay. It's huh? happened. Huh? <laughs> Proper instinct pushing that over the edge. Got to train for that stream. Ah, uh, good one, Eki Babs. I'd have to train real hard for that one. Thank you for starting a hype train, you absolute mad lads. I, what am I going to do with you lot? Well, storage for Lego builds, that's a good problem to have. Oh man, I've got Lego all over the goddamn place. It's not about even storing it, it's about displaying it most of the time. Alright, yeah, we're officially into hype train. Oh yeah, train Tim. Tim? Oh yeah, train Tim? Oh, train time? Okay, I get it. Choo choo choo. Mr. Styles has been trying to start this all day. Choo choo choo. You got the little guys too. Yes, we bought the start. We we play. We built the uh, the starter course over here. That's what this is. Oh my god! Thank you so much for cheering, That's everybody. Hype. He is terrifying with his eyes off, but once you turn his eyes on, he is a different person, and he's adorable. He makes so many cool sounds. The starter course is a lot of fun. For, nine, for $80 RRP, I highly recommend it. Uh, thank you so much More for cheering. Let's More let's go. More let's go. Mario time. <laughs> Darcy, that's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> oh, as for Studio D, I'm actually not sure. I was more referring to Weekenders and Recess. Ah, okay, fair enough. Also, sorry, forgot to hit enter on the comment. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so we are at level 1, 35%. You guys are crazy. Thank you so much for starting another crazy hype train. Uh, and Barnstar getting that up to 65% with 500 bits. That is huge. There is Lego all over the damn place. No more Lego. No more Lego. No more Lego. How dare no you? More Lego. How no dare more you? Lego. No more Lego. No more Lego. No more Lego. Who do you think you no are, Barnstar? No more Lego. Take your 500 bits back. If you're demanding no more Lego, I don't want those 500 bits. Last of me bits. Uh, who is Nox? Thank you so much for cheering that 75 bits, the last of it. That's really generous. I really appreciate that. I don't appreciate proper Barnstar coming in here trying to convince me no more Lego. That I don't appreciate, but I appreciate the 500 bits. Okay, that puts us at 71% of the level one. Thank you so much. Um, man, where, what was I even talking about? I don't even know what, what where I am. I'm looking at bullet? Bullet? What do you mean you're looking at bullet? Uh, you became the very thing you swore to destroy! <laughs> you were the chosen one! You were meant to promote the Lego! Not forbid it! <laughs> Man, Mrs. Styles has been... Been, been basically begging for a hype train all day. <laughs> Poor thing, she, we, we finally got it. Oh, you're looking at the bullet, this. Bullet Bill, yes. Now I get it. Bullet Bill is really cute over here. This is a blind bag one. Give me a damn refund for my no more Lego Thass. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to, how to, uh, how to refund. Well, that 500 bits, proper Reban star, proper instinct. You push us through to the end of level one. We are now at level two. Thank you very much, my friend. You generous oil baron, you. Keep building, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna keep, keep going. Building. Let's go. Sorry, Emma's mum. Sorry, Emma's mum. I don't think they can be refunded. I think Twitch can do it. I don't know if I can. Uh, I'm gonna keep building. I'm gonna keep building. Bullet build. No, that's okay. Uh, sorry, I d I'm, I'm a little all over the place when there's a hype train. I don't know how to handle this other than to just keep building Lego and trying to get these things on straight. It's not really working out for me terribly well. They're all a little bit wonky. Uh, I love you guys with all your bloody hype trains and your cheers and your text to, text to speech and stuff and I just don't know how to handle it. What do you want me to say? Do you want me to... Okay, hold on. What do we want with this hype train? Do you guys want me to flip out and like lose my shit and like 
you know, jump up and down and do backflips and stuff? Or do you want me to just be chill and not really pay attention to it? How long would you say roughly this build has taken? I can tell you exactly how long it's taken. Task one hype. Thank you, Nami Narima, for contributing to the hype train, getting us up to 13% of level two. I hate that I have to keep saying what we're at, but if you're watching on phone, you don't know if I don't say, because uh, it doesn't come up for some reason. Remember back when you'd only had one hype train and didn't get past level one? I do remember that. Uh, and I didn't know how to react then, and I still don't know how to react now. Uh, Mrs. Styles, buying a subscription for my mum. That's so sweet. Thank you so much, Mrs. Styles. And that gets us up to 41%, mum. Be sure to thank Mrs. Styles and uh, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your sub badges. More Mario, more Mario, <laughs> more Mario, more Mario. Hey, we can play more some more Mario. Mario. More Mario. What do you mean, more Mario more Lego? Mario. More Mario, more Mario, more Mario. That's just gonna keep going. Uh, thank you, Darcy, for a hundred bits. Zeki sixty nine xx, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Square Gang, my friend. No more Mario. No more Mario. Oh yeah, Jessie hates this Mario. She thinks they think it's haunted. I'm. A, I don't know. I don't know. I think he's all right. He's a. Uh... Okay, he's a bit scary when his eyes are off. We're at 46%. Thank you so much, everybody. You're all crazy. You're all a bunch of misfits and I love you. I just wish I knew what to say. I wish I knew. I wish I was better at handling this stuff. Ah. <sighs> Is it good? Can I can I talk safely without being interrupted by TTS? I never know what to say. I never know what to do. You're all bloody crazy and unpredictable. It's a Furby in disguise. You you really don't trust it. Trust it, do you, Jeshi? Can you fix the third grey brick down on the game cartridge? I can't shake that it isn't flush, not like this, not like this, not like this. On this? The third brick down? You mean this? That's not flush? It has to be flush. On this? Is that what you're talking about? Uh. That square mum should always have a sub, that's really sweet. Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way, who is Nox, but I'm confused about what you're talking about. You're saying this isn't flush? It looks flush to me. This one. They have to be flush though, because that's how the, like, because they're on studs. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't see it, and I, do, I can't move it anymore. It might have been a mold problem. We're at fit. Whoa, okay. Proper barn star just. Oh, 99, 100%. Yes, we just got to 100%. Crazy and unpredictable. Crazy, unpredictable. You literally got it to right on 100% with 20%. With 20 seconds left. God damn, proper barn star. Absolutely. MVP taking that train conductor badge. Level two has been completed. I think we might be at like 0% of level 3. Okay, 6%. We're at 6% of level 3. Thank you so much, proper Barn Star, proper instinct. 4 minutes and 30 seconds left of the hype train, or at least this level of it. 1000 bits is huge! Made you look- God damn it! Made you look Kappa. Damn it! No! It's not okay! Anyone else wondering why the orange pieces are little squares when they could have been Trolling in my chat during a hype train. What are you playing at? What are you playing at? I will up with this, I will not put. Thanks for the 100 bits though. <laughs> Anyone else wondering why the orange pieces are little squares when they could have been bigger rectangles? Oh, you'll see. You'll see, Goanna, you'll see. It'll all make sense in time. Squares left the chat. Thank you for your continued contributions, ladies and gentlemen. We are now at 14% uh, with three minutes and 30 seconds left to go. Oh God, I've been doing it kind of wrong. I can't go on. 
at proper underscore barn underscore star avenge me. You can't go on? What what has happened? That doesn't sound like you. Thank you for the uh, 50 bits on Jogmies. You mean you've run out of bits? We're up to 16% with three minutes left. I really appreciate this, guys. Lack of funds. Ah, yes, Undrock Me's, you did say you bought an in-season dress for full price. So that, that tracks. Not to mention you've uh, picked out a wedding dress, which uh, requires money as well. Damn proper instinct. At Androcums, don't worry, I shall and avenge you. At Androcums. Thank you so much for the 750 bits. That gets us up to 52% with two minutes and 20 seconds. Life, life isn't worth living. I really appreciate that. Oh my God, you're so generous. <laughs> you shall avenge. You will be revenge. Uh, hmm, that's an interesting name you've got there, but hey, I'll assume that you're legit and not a troll because, I don't know, maybe people think that square guy is a is a troll name. Thank you so much for the host. I appreciate that. And for the follow. Welcome to the Square Gang, Jack. I'm just going to call you Jack. Welcome to the Square Gang. Super appreciated. Oh, and Naminarima's off? I didn't see that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What did I miss? I'm pretty sure I'm going to pass out soon, so I'm going to say goodnight and look to us. Like, goodnight, Lilani. Thank you for hanging out. I didn't see that because I stormed off. Okay. Yeah, hi, Jack. <laughs> oh, man. 52% of level 3. That's fantastic. We've got 1 minute, 10 seconds left. It's winding down. But, oh, I just realized I didn't put the hype music on. All right, I'll put the hype music on if we complete this level, because I, I forgot. It's a very chill hype train. <laughs> Thank you, Clownsy, for being my PR guy. No, I was counting you. How to fuel the train. The train is driven by bits and subs, who is Nox. That gets us to 56% with 35 seconds left. Life isn't worth living. I really appreciate this. I, oh my God. Okay, I guess I'm playing the, uh, the hype music then. Wow, okay. Jeebus. We've got a lot of uh, alerts coming up. That just flew us through level four. And we're now 60% of the way through level five. Proper instinct with the 10 gifted subs. You are a crazy person. T Squire, who is Nox? Wooly the Sloth, Mr. The Kid, Spam, bruh. In no waste, Wayward Plane, Man Lionel 2, mm -hmm, plays David 0002. Thank you so much for the freaking gift subs, proper instinct. You absolute madman. I just popped in, you're my first Lego stream. Well, I hope that you enjoy your sub, Wooly the Sloth. Be sure to thank Proper Barnstar for being an absolute madman, cruising us right on through to 60% of level 5. Oh. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this kind of treatment. Why do you break me like this? Thask one hype, 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 thask one hype. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god! Seriously, what is this? 
What are you doing? Are you freaking kidding me? Who is Nox? Are you another oil bearing? What? We are 230% of level five. What is happening? I'm just trying to build some Lego. I'm going away now. I'm just gonna hide under the table. We chair stream now. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not put together for this kind of thing. 230% of level five. I mean, at least you didn't do it while I was on BRB this time. Oh my god. I'm not put together for this kind of thing. I'm not... What? You're all insane! You're a bunch of lunatics! I'm gonna wait until the hype train is finished before I need to. I need to step away for a second. This is. You're always doing this to me. I'm just trying to build my Lego NES. Oh my god. You're all loose cannons. I can't trust you with my stream. You can always break me. Oh my me. god. You broke queer guy. I don't deserve to have this kind of money thrown at me, people. What? <laughs> what did I do to earn this? What did I... Why do we have such a crazy, crazy community? I thought 200% last time. <laughs> Not last time, the other, I don't know, whenever it was. I thought that was a record and now you've gone and done it again. <sighs> My circle hole, Jessie, how dare you? At least there's only eight seconds left. At least we're, we're, we're through it. Because I don't think I can take any more. And it's done. It's done. It's completed. You did it. We shared the hype train emotes that you got, people. I accidentally closed mine. God damn it. I didn't actually share it. Uh, where the heck are they? Which one was the new one? I don't think it's come up on mine yet. I don't know which one I got. I accidentally closed it. <laughs> Got a dumpster fire. Yeah, that one's not the best. Oh my god. You guys are absolutely crazy. I hope you know I appreciate this. Oh my god. Okay, I need to read this stuff out. Wooly the Sloth, thank you for the follow, my man. Welcome to the Square Gang. You picked an interesting time. You get us up to 745 followers. We are five followers away from reaching our big milestone of 750 followers. When we reach that, we will be celebrating by baking a cherry pie on stream. You guys are gonna bake along with us. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be amazing. Five followers to go, five followers to go. I somehow got my Twitch stuck in slow motion playback and I don't know how to save it. Please someone help OMG. It should be like playback speed in the gear, I think? You don't be an NES build without an over-the-top hype train. Hype train does equal more LEGO! <laughs> you guys want to see more LEGO? There'll be more LEGO now. Oh my god. You're all crazy. You're all crazy people. But I heckin love it. You guys are amazing. I love you all so much. I don't deserve this. I got, I got more to read, more to read here. I'm gonna have to expand this so I can see. Oh my god. Who is Nox? Who is Nox? Gifting. 
10 subs to? Let's find out. We're gifting one to Shaggy, A. Eh? We're shifting one to Laliesh. We're shifting, uh, shifting, gifting one to Scoot Punk. Gifting one to Tef Bano. Gifting one to J Rab. Gifting one to K Foxington. Gifting one to Brightburn 1985. Giving one to Castromit. Giving one to It's Not Link. Sorry, It's Link, not Zelda. And gifting one to Habs7176. Folks, if you received a gifted sub from Who Is Nox, please say thank you. Show you appreciate them. And enjoy your NES badge. Enjoy your uh, emotes. Enjoy being a VIP member of the Square Gang. Uh, and a reminder, if you're not already in our Discord, now's a good time to join because you get access to the exclusive subscriber-only channel on there. And also I want to say, Emma's mum, thank you for the 100 bits. That was really generous as well. And Goanna uh, with the 20-bit cheers to express excitement as well. Did I miss a hype train? You did, Scarlet. <laughs> we just got 230% of a level 5 hype train, and it is ridiculous. My, 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 my chat just continues to break me. Oh, and Zeki Rez, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Square Gang. That puts us four away from our big goal. I was su supposed to plug the Discord. I'm sorry, Clancy, I beat you to it. Oh my God. Google is no help. Yeah, on Jockeys, I'm pretty sure if you look in the gear, you should see uh, like a speed setting or something. So much kindness. Lovely. That is... I'd say nothing. There's, there's an immense amount of kindness in this chat and I... I never know how to... I never know how to react. Uh... And Jogmeas, I'm gonna open up another stream real quick so I can see if I can see the setting that I'm thinking of. Otherwise I have no idea. Maybe restart whatever device you're on? Or report playback issue? No, there is no setting for uh, speed. That's only on VODs, I guess. I don't know. I don't know on Jockbees. That's a really weird problem to have. Far out. Can I collect myself and get back into uh, building this tank tread here? Darcy did do an amazing job of those emotes, lovely. I agree. Gus has never looked better. I hate that I'm really struggling to get these to sit just right. I want them to be perfect. I think they're just not going to be. So I should uh go back to the chill music. We're chilling out again now. Oh heck, we'll leave one EDM song on. Oh my god. I just dropped my actual NES controller over here. It's still good, it's still good. Can't believe you guys. Hazar, a man of quality. You better believe it, Mastery Official! Thank you so much for the follow, welcome to the Square Gang. What do you mean a man of quality? How, how dare you? How dare you? I don't know why I'm finding offense to that. Uh, but hey, that's a that's a compliment, and I'll I'll accept it. That puts us to 747 followers. Can you believe we're only three followers away from our milestone, Darcy? Can you believe that? That is insane. Oh my god. Can you please check the third gray square down on the game cartridge? You suck, who is Nox? <laughs> And Habu821, thank you so much! 748! Welcome to the Square Gang. Welcome to the Square Gang. We are so close! Androcles is off, Twitch is balked. Have a good rest of the stream. Okay, well, fair. Uh, Androcles, thank you for trying. I'll see you next time. Hopefully it's fixed next time. I don't know how to help. I'm sorry. It's so weird. Bye. Stay square. We've got to do the pie stream next weekend. Absolutely, positively, lootly. I'll be here when you get the last two followers. Oh man, it's gonna be exciting. Gotta head out. If I miss the rest, I def check in the vaults for this Lego. Oh man, sorry you hardly even got to see any Lego build Eki Babs, but you kind of caused this. 
by raiding in. I really appreciate that raid, Aki Babs. You know, while there's more people here, I'm gonna give you another shout out. There we go. Everybody, please check out Eki Babs. We really appreciate them raiding in today. I'm actually, I actually don't follow you. I, I'll be honest, you've been in my chat so many times before, but I had no idea that you are actually a streamer as well. So I'm gonna smash that follow button. I recommend you all do as well. And I look forward to catching one of their streams in the future. Uh, I said one more hype train, hype song, but I uh, left it on again. So one more. <laughs> You guys, seriously. I don't even know what to do with you all. Oh, that one's not even meant to be there either. This is meant to go here. And then this. It's taking me so long to do this one friggin' bag. I don't know what to do with you all! <laughs> Hype trains in a Lego stream, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? You gotta go see you, Nami Narima. thank you for hanging out! It's always good to be active in the community. I agree, and we have got such a freaking good community here. We've got such a loving, caring, generous, amazing community here. It's a great one to be active in. I'll, I'll, I'm happy to plug my own community, because the people that we've managed to find to put together into this nearly 750 person strong square army. I'm so thankful for having so many amazing people here. I'm taking a break from D&D &D stuff. Good, good call. Uh, we have so many amazing people here and everybody like, I so look forward to uh, hanging out with people all the time. Like we've just, I'm just, I feel so lucky to have this community. I hope you all know how much I love you. This is a very, uh, oops, oops, oops kind of song. All right, it's nearly done. All right, it's done. Now we go back to the regular music. Fix it! It wasn't Twitch, it was Chrome. What a jerk. What the heck? Why did- how did that end up happening with Chrome? What a weird thing. Well, I'm glad you fixed it on Jock Does that mean you're staying? Because, you know, I was starting to miss you already. Far out. What a heckin' thing. It was really trippy though. Yeah, I've never, uh, heard of anything like that. God damn. I'm still reeling. How do I how do I can go on after something like that? I gotta take these off because they're distracting me. Alright, so we've got that part. Now we put in another one like this. Go and have dinner and watch the news, Rose Lady. I'm sorry you had to see me freaking out, mum. For the people that are new in the chat and don't realize, uh, Rose Lady is my mum. Uh, she's been watching pretty much this entire stream, which is insane. Uh, we'll leave you on and check in to see progress. Okay, mum, that sounds great. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, thank you for being here. Have a good dinner, and I hope that there's good news on uh, the news. Sorry you had to see me losing my mind there, but this stream, this chat, I don't know what we're going to do with them, mum. They're a bunch of misfits. Are we allowed to backseat the Lego? Uh, hmm, it depends. What do you, what do you, what exactly do you, how, what does backseating the Lego entail? Are you like, no, 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 put that brick there instead. I'm just going to ignore you. <laughs> but hey, Shaggy A, it sounds like you're, uh, you're going to be a good fit here. If that's the kind of attitude that you're bringing in. Oh, Jessie's gonna have a lurk. Yes, enjoy your lurk. 2020 news, probably, so no good news. That's, yeah, that's, that's a good call. 
Who got the, uh... Your gift leader number three who is Nox, but who got the... Train conductor badge? Proper Barnstar did. Who got the bits one? Uh, Proper Barnstar probably stole both of them, the madman. I believe they meant Legos. You've been warned, Buzz. I'm, not, I'm gonna have to give you that cheeky timeout now. Now, how do I do that? I can I click on your name and then I click on the uh, little circle, the line through, right? That's what I do. The cheek. See what I have to put up with in this chat, you guys? One minute they love me and they're throwing money at me. The next minute they're just like, Legos. And I'm like, Domio. <laughs> I. <laughs> at least use that squan high. <laughs> Balance. Yeah, that is very balanced. Man, I wish my uh, C922's focus was a bit more balanced. Like, look at it. It can't even make up its mind. Seriously, what are you doing? Are you blinking? What is going on? Do we do we need to have another chat? Is this like yesterday? Are you feeling a little bit? You needed some attention there, buddy. You okay? Do we need to have a chat? Do I need to go BRB and you know, you and I just talk things through? You okay? You gonna be able to focus? All right, you stay focused now. Must hydrate its lens. Medusa, continuing the sub you got from Proper Barnstar. Thank you so much. I'm unsure how to feel. What do you mean, lovely? Unsure about what? Me talking to the camera? I only do. I, I thought it was funny. I'm sorry. Honestly, craning my head around like that made me feel a little bit uh, a little bit dizzy. No, really, Medusa, thank you so much for continuing that sub. I appreciate that. That was uncomfortably intimate. Yeah, I thought I just I was trying to be funny. I looked up to a close up square. <laughs> You're standing to my soul right now. I probably should focus, huh? Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> You're holding both badges. That's never my intention, but I do like shiny objects. You're like a niffler. Like, we all know the Niffler from the Fantastic Beast movies, or at least the Fantastic Beast trailers, but I was actually impressed. I've been rereading the Harry Potter books, and I was surprised to find that in Goblet of Fire, uh, she actually introduced the idea of Nifflers in, in Goblet of Fire, in a Care of Magical Creatures class. How's this set going? Dude, it's going so well. Check it out. Here's the TV so far, with a bunch of mechanics inside, and ooh, I wonder what the gear could be for. Uh... And here's the back of the TV, which is just fantastic. It won't focus, but there's a cool sticker there that says like a bunch of stuff, a bunch of TV stuff. Low tech 1310 color TV receiver. Uh, and here's the, the, the actual um, console. And of course inside, we have the quintessential Mr. Styles. Uh, cartridge that tv back is so cool looking i know it's so convincing and it looks a lot like the the actual retro tv that i play my my actual nes on so maybe we can get it to focus a bit better if i hold it down here it focuses a bit better maybe a little yeah there you go it's so cool i love it so much everything looks good i concur I'm glad you think so. I have to put everything back the way it was. Finished? <laughs> it's all very cool looking, I can't wait to see it finished. Finished? Just a little reference for you there on Drockmies. Take every opportunity I can to make a uh, Scott Pilgrim reference to Androckmies because it's, she'll actually get it. You appreciate it? Thank you. I'm glad you appreciate I appreciate your appreciation. It really is a cool set ever. It is 100% my favorite set. Move over, Burrow. NES is now my best friend. Friendship ended with the Harry Potter Burrow. Now the NES is my best friend. I was looking at the Lego store last night and found the set I want to get for myself, only it's out of stock everywhere. Ooh, which set is it, Medusa? 
Can you order it from the online LEGO store? Edit the clip so instead of green, it's you saying David Lynch. That is so good, Skarmez. That is so good. That is such a good idea. All right, I need to make a note of that right freaking now. That is such a good idea. All right, hold on. Actually, Skarmez, can you put that in the... Uh, thank you for redeeming Adamine to the stream deck. Can you put that in the... Uh, suggestion box on the Discord so that I, I can keep that in mind. The I LEGO Ideas Treehouse. That is a beautiful set. Uh, it'll probably come back in stock, Medusa. Thank you, Skarmez. That's a great... Skarmez, how did your secret stream go, by the way? How was Smash Bros? Did you win? I bet you won. Are you still live right now? <laughs> I feel like I'm not the only one who gets Scott Pilgrim references here. No, you're not. I just like singling you out. You got wrecked by 13 year old kids. Well, look, it happens to the best of us. Well, at least it happens to you. I haven't decided on a meme yet. There's so many to choose from. You got to get creative. Skama has got really creative with that one. I love it. I really need to get my ass into gear and add all of the old memes back to the stream deck. All I've got is uh, the hey, uh, the keyboard cat and the uh, what would life be like if I robbed the Quickie Mart one? I know, no Twin Peaks memes on this. Actually, no, we do have one of them. I have one set up, but I don't think it's completely working. I have the, uh, it is happening again set up, but I'm not sure it's working properly. I've, I've been having trouble with my meme setups on, um, on OBS. I gotta, one day this lockdown, I gotta sit down and make sure that I've got them all working properly, you know? In fact, I'm just gonna take a quick break real quick.
I am sorry about that, guys. I was trying to make sure that one of the memes was working correctly, but I actually couldn't in studio mode. So I don't know. We might, if I if I try to do one of them later, we might just have to play it by ear, and you guys will just have to forgive me <laughs> if it screws up. And I think we're all good now. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I would love for her to do them, but alas, I'm poor. Well, Lovely, you're also a really good artist. So, like, I like your Red Panda and uh, Lovely B emotes. I see you talking about uh, making new emotes. Sorry for the random BRB, guys. I, I, yeah, sorry about that. Like I said, I was trying to make sure that certain things are working, but I can't check in studio mode anyway, so, oh well. If you ever want me to do them, I can. Yeah, exactly. Darcy's always available, but almost good now. Oh yes, yes, sorry. Sorry, proper monster. I did see your David Lynch hair go through. David Lynch is happening. David Lynch hair is upon us. There we go. Yeah, and lovely. I like the snow gang emote, obviously. And the that's rough buddy is very important. I like them all. But you do you, you gotta be happy. Okay. Pretty good. They're mostly even and flush. It's it's very tricky to get it just right, but anyway. It's just a screenshot pretty much. You could like draw it yourself though, like draw your own version of it, right? Okay, next up. All right, I wanna see some serious hype for this next bag, people, because this, this is the big one. This is the big exciting one. This is bag number 18. This one, this is the real deal. I wanna say some serious, some serious bag hype in the chat. Can we please, come on, bag hype in the chat. Let's go, let's go, bag hype, let's go. No, Lovely's still busy talking and so is Darcy. Bag hype please, come on people, come on, bag hype. New bag hype, come on, what's going on? Where's all my hype gone? You spent all your hype on the hype train. There we go, that's more like it. That's better. This is what I'm talking about. I knew I could rely on you guys. Serious bag hype, serious bag hype, serious bag hype. This is perfect. This is what I wanted to see. Thank you. That's very good. I told you that, Clownsy. Come on, man. You gotta be doing squares. Do it next time. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You love to see it. Oh, yes. Look at those dan dancing party parrots. It's unfortunate that they don't come up as gifts on the uh, actual screen. All right, let's wind it down. That's That's a good amount of hype. Thank you very much. Let's uh, turn all these the right way up, get them all organized. It's taking me so long to get through this set now because of the hype train and everything distracting me and so many discussions about my school playing music over the loudspeakers to signify the end of lunch and everyone apparently think that's really, really weird. Made sense to us. And then healthy Harold discussion. 
weekenders and recess discussion. Lovely. I'm so glad that you're into weekenders because I highly recommend rewatching it again if you can get your hands on it. It hasn't been released on DVD. It's not on Disney Plus, uh, so you have to acquire it some other way. Uh, but it is so worth rewatching. I every day, I or every like couple of days, I check Disney Plus to see if it's on there yet because Weekenders is honestly one of my favorite, absolute favorite Disney shows. It's so freaking funny, and it's one of the only shows where the characters don't just wear the same clothes in every single episode. They have like rotating outfits and stuff. It's great, and their outfits will change within episodes as well because each episode takes across an entire takes place across an entire weekend. Now we do Sorting Hype, that's right. Next emote will be Gus Salt. Ooh. May or may not be related to being beaten by 13 year olds at Smash. Good call, good call. So is that gonna be like Gus, like sprinkling some salt? Not the best gesture. Uh, <laughs> or is it gonna be Gus with like salt on his head? I'm thinking like Gus with a little bit of like a little pile of salt on his head. What do you think? Borg hype, Borg hype. Another idea would be like Gus like with salt like in front of him like he's swimming like okay sorry she like Gus is drowning in salt or something. <laughs> That's a bit violent I guess. I like the, the, the idea of Gus with like a little pile of salt sitting on her head and like falling down around her and she's like like that or something. That'd be really funny. Yeah, maybe some tears, some salty tears. Because we all know Gus is a phoenix and therefore she can cry. Okay, I need to count these, oops, <laughs> did not mean to press that. Count these bags as well. You want some dinner, Darcy? I could go for some dinner. We've got leftover gnocchi, right? Sweet potato gnocchi. Mmm. Delicious. Accidental big cam. You hate to see it. Ooh, leftover pizza. Pizza. Very nice. What if my emotes were me and not the panda? Would people be mad? I wouldn't be mad. You could do that if you want. What about... The long Furby. What about emotes of long Furby? Make that your mascot. Yeah, a lot of people love having emotes that are the actual streamer. Yes, Vogue, that's her name. I want a emote of Vogue, the long Furby, Voguing. I do need a Vogue one somehow. It'd be great. I just want this to be coherent. Yeah, you want like consistency across them. I see, I get what you're saying. Like you want them all to be thematic. That's, I like seeing emotes that are all thematic. Like they're all of the same thing. Oh my god, that's a great idea, but yeah, it's a bit of a waste. Do that when you're a partner. A very long Furby emote, and one where you could just repeat it. <laughs> we love those uh, hand emotes around here. Oh. 
So cool. Can you see what these are? Oh yes, and the coins. <laughs> That's really cute, Shaggy. I agree. How many bags to go? One, two, three. Oh, wow. We're down to the dregs, people. We've only got four bags left. And that's just a little bit of a bag crinkling for Fabasi before she leaves. You're welcome. See you later, Fabacy. Thank you for hanging out. Stay square. I'll talk to you soon. I really appreciate you being here for so long and putting up with all the bag crinkling. Dreadful crinkling. That's what... Every time you call me Daddy Square, I'm gonna crinkle a bag in the microphone. That'll learn ya. Give you some positive punishment for it. Worth it. <laughs> Bye for Basie. Okay, now this is where it becomes interesting. Push those out of the way. Let's make a little bit of room. Okay, so we have to put that along there. probably spelled it wrong. That's okay, we get the idea. I'm lucky I can even pronounce it. Okay, and now we do that. These streams are epic. Me, like, chilling out and building Lego is epic. Well, I'm glad you found me too, buddy, but <laughs> I don't know. I guess the hype train was pretty epic. I'll give you that. After this bag is done, I'm going to take a quick break to uh, go get myself another drink and just stretch my legs for a bit. Because I realized yesterday when I did my nine hour stream, I hadn't been downstairs for th that entire nine hours. Like I'd gotten up and stretched once or twice. I've been stretching more today. But I don't, never ventured downstairs, I've just been cooped up in this room the entire time. Which is pretty funny. But I'll go downstairs, have a breather, get another drink of water. Reconvene with Darcy. 
and then I'll be back for more. More Lager. More Lager. More Lager. You know how it goes. What did I say about you? I just said I was going, I'm going to come down and have a quick break while I, uh, after I finish this bag and I'll reconvene with you downstairs. What do you suggest I eat at 1.26 a.m.? Uh, a cheese sandwich. Slap some bread on, uh, some butter on some bread, slap a piece of cheese in there. Butter on some more bread, slap them together, you got yourself a meal. I don't know if I trust uh, Clownsy to grill the sandwich. So I'll just go with a regular cheese sandwich. Lightly fried fish fillets. Oh, that's a bit specific. Jessie's gonna make some rice. Sounds good. Man, Darcy, when are we having taco rice next? Or better yet, that stew. Oh God, that stew with the rice and the... Oh man. Oh man, I'm drooling just thinking about it. Should have that next week. So you guys can see what's happening here, right? Mm, Niku Jaga, that's the one. Stew, oh yes. Not sure what I'm adding to the rice yet. You'll figure it out. One day after COVID, we should gra grab bunch or something. Yeah, we'll grab bunch. Definitely. And cursed lockdown is over. Brunch, I mean. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> yeah, and if the day ever comes, it's a bit like that, isn't it? It can double as a cooking budgie. <laughs> it can. That's very true. It's, me it's mostly a threatening budgie, though. Oh, I have food. I've been, I've been delivered with food. food. Delivered with food? Thank you, honey. Uh, I guess I'm taking a quick break now, actually. A little bit ahead of schedule. I will eat this, but when I get back, continuing this exciting work, uh, don't go anywhere. I won't be too long.
Imagine raiding someone when he's BRB as if you would do that. Who even does that, man? Cloakroom coming in with that raid. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. How we doing? Thanks for being here. Uh, you going BRB in general? Yeah, thank uh, Yeah, well, fair. Imagine going BRB in general. Thanks. Uh, it's Darcy's fault. She brought me food and you guys have... You guys are actually the ones that have given me a hassle for uh, eating on stream in the past. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep eating my sweet potato gnocchi. I'll be back when I'm damn ready. But thanks for the raid, Cloakroom. How was your stream, man? That's awesome. Uh, I th thank you so much for the raid. You got to eat too? See, everyone's got to eat. I'll be back shortly while I finish this meal. Breezy oo yuck avocado, 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 breezy, eat 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 oo yuck avocado. Cheer ten. Underscore, L 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 underscore, seventy seven and decillion seven hundred and seventy seven decillion seven hundred and seventy seven no million seven hundred and seventy seven octillion seven hundred and seventy seven septillion seven hundred and seventy seven sextillion seven hundred and seventy seven quintillion seven hundred and seventy seven quadrillion seven hundred and seventy seven trillion seven hundred and seventy seven billion seven hundred and seventy seven million seven hundred and seventy seven thousand seven hundred and Seventy seven.
Hey guys, Slegos, Legos, Legos. 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 Okay, thank you for waiting. Thank you for your patience. Thank you again, Cloakroom, for that raid. How was your stream, my man? You said it was a it was a good Fall Guys sesh. I hope you had a lot of fun. Uh, I myself have not checked out Fall Guys yet. I've watched a few like bits and pieces of streams here and there. It does look like a lot of fun, but I don't know. I I don't have PS Plus. I know that's meant to be free on PS Plus right now, but um, I feel like. <laughs> What always happens to me is when I buy into a flavor of the month game like that, it dies like the next week. So <laughs> I fully intend to that. Uh, I fully uh, expect that to happen if I were to buy into it. So I'm just kind of steering clear of it. Uh, yeah, I'm not playing on PC because it's like 30 bucks or something. I haven't got that kind of money. <laughs> I got to spend that kind of money on on uh, Lego. <laughs> this, stuff, this stuff doesn't come cheap, you know. This is the most expensive drug you can... Like, dollar per pound, this is the most expensive drug you could get be addicted to. <laughs> but hey, I appreciate that raid, my man. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Usually you're uh, lurking in the chat, you've been- I noticed you've been a bit quiet, and I guess that makes sense, you started streaming. <laughs> and then you came crawling back. We've, uh, slowly been making some headway on, uh, on the- TV portion of the set. Here's the internals, and here is the external uh, rear. It's coming along very nicely. Unfortunately, we're having a little bit of trouble with the webcam being a little bit like, I know, the exposure is a bit off. It could be hard to see exactly what we're looking at with that thing. It doesn't like focusing on it, but I know I'm kind of past trying to get it to work. I, I guess I could try adjusting this lamp one more. If that screws up. Turn it down a bit. I don't know. Maybe that looks better. And no shadows. No shadows. Okay. Can you see it properly now? It really doesn't like focusing on the text for some reason. It really struggles with this part. It sucks. Hey Shags, you're back. How was your rest, my friend? The build is going very well. Check out what we're doing here. Uh, and as I was just showing, the TV looks fantastic so far. Uh, I just wish that the camera would would show it a bit better. My dinner was baked potatoes with bolognese sauce followed by a dessert of apple and cinnamon turnovers and ice cream. And that sounds so freaking good. I'm so jealous. I mean, I'm not that jealous because we had delicious sweet potato gnocchi, but that sounds like an amazing dinner as well. Uh, I don't get dessert given to me. <laughs> I have to get my own damn ice cream does sound very good but yeah shags thanks for dropping by man so shags had a 24 hour stream overnight uh and he raided in at the start of the stream once he finished up and i and then he went to have a rest and i am still going many hours later and man shags i gotta say some of your community really really good like they're cool people we had a few of them stick around for a while and they were they were real nice so I'm glad that, uh, I really appreciate you bringing them over. If 
thought I wasn't allowed to bring you on st dessert on stream. That's true. I did. Yeah, I'm not meant to eat dessert on stream. <laughs> Good point. Good point. You got me there, Darcy. I have to go BRB again if I if you do that exactly. We never have dessert, but Mum made heaps of turnovers last night because we we had heaps of apples. Well, that's a good reason to make apple turnovers. Sorry, I'm just gonna try and fix up my pop filter because it was slipping. It had been slipping a bit. Bay caught it slipping. There we go. Hey, dinosaur arms! You got tiny little arms. How you doing? <laughs> Thanks for dropping in. Uh, don't make my fun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. I didn't mean to make fun of your tiny little arms. <laughs> You're self-conscious. Well, they are pretty small. Reported? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, that's awesome to hear. There are some awesome peeps among them. Scooter is probably one of the... I'm just playing. <laughs> no, no, you should report me. That was really uncalled for. There are some awesome peeps among them. Scooter is probably one of the genuinely nicest people I've ever met. Yeah, Scooter hung around for ages and he seemed really cool. He was telling us about like, his DJ stuff. Radical dude, so I really appreciate you bringing him over. Uh, he seemed to enjoy the Lego stuff as well. Uh, what's up is we're building an amazing Lego set. Um, definitely my favorite Lego set so far. Uh, this is the NES that we've uh, just been finished up. My friends has gone into Lego stream, so I was just checking him out. Oh, fair enough. Thank you for dropping by. Uh, this set has just been an absolute joy through and through. Uh, the cartridge being removable uh, with its actual lockdown capability and stuff feature and the controller ports and the i really am a big fan of the av ports back here and everything it's just so freaking cool uh there's my real nes over here it's only a little bit smaller than the real nes and then of course there's the controller as well which is pretty much true to life the buttons are a bit bigger than the real thing but uh you know you make exceptions and then the tv so far is looking incredible. Uh, I'm looking forward to finishing this up. Hopefully within the next couple of hours, I'm running a bit later than I expected. Uh, lurking again, Mr. Styles. No worries, enjoy your lurk. You're back, you got your cheese sandwich. Wow, Clownsy, I love you. you actually took my advice. Uh, I hope you enjoy your cheese sandwich. I know the port says so cute, aren't they, Shags? Uh, we in this, hey, John, how you doing, bud? It's good to see you. Dinosaur Arms, thank you so much for the follow. That's huge because that puts us at 749 followers. The next follower gets up. Okay, well that'll do it. Uh, okay, Ben Lol has just put us through to the big seven five zero. We just hit our milestone. We just hit our milestone, and I. Uh, my heart is something. I feel so excited. You guys, we got there. I didn't think it was gonna be possible, but we got there. I feel like I gotta celebrate, but I don't know if this is gonna work. It might not, uh, <laughs> it might not play the sound. I don't know, we'll see how we go. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna dump over here real quick and we'll see, let's just, Look away for a second while I make sure that this works at all. Uh, let's see here. Let's, let's see here. Okay, so the sound is working. Just pretend I didn't do that. Just pretend... Just pretend I didn't do that. I, uh... Now I do it properly. And, uh... I'm real excited to hit 750 followers. I, I, uh, I feel a little song coming on. to say it but it still broke <laughs> the cameras aren't working no oh no it didn't work properly
Why isn't it working properly? God damn it! Rough, buddy. I knew this would happen. Hold on, hold on. We are doing this properly. I knew this would happen. This is what I was trying to prevent. I'm going BRB while I try to work this out. Guys, I'm so sad. I owe you a hayer for reals this time because I really owe you one now because it's completely broken. For some reason, all the cameras are broken on it. I can't do it. It's gonna take me like 20 minutes to sit here and fix it all up. It's, this sucks. This blows. Oh God, I'm heartbroken. My heart is seriously pounding because I'm panicking because it completely balked it. I have to, now I seriously owe you one. It's gonna I'm gonna have to fix it tomorrow. I'm sorry. I can't sit here for 20 minutes and try and fix it. Oh, hey, that's way too long. It's gonna like you can't just I can't expect you guys to sit there bored. And plus I'm also running out of time to finish the set before by a reasonable hour. It's because the lining went to bed, it ruined everything. I feel terrible. I'm really sorry. Uh, I can't celebrate this crazy achievement of 750 followers it sucks it sucks it blows i'm really sorry uh but we'll have to do it another time uh shit happens it does i know <laughs> look just it's been a crazy crazy stream it's late i've been going for seven hours Seven and a half hours. Are you finishing the build today? I was hoping to, but this has taken ages. And now I'm trying to do a Haya and my scene for it is all broken and stuff. Ah, oh, it sucks. I missed a few things there as well. Uh, after OK Ben followed, John went ahead and gifted a sub to... Who did it go to? Uh, I can't freaking see it. Uh, gifted a sub to 27 Prasopez. Prasopez? Thank you so much for gifting a sub, John. That's huge. I really appreciate that. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. Uh, enjoy your gifted sub, Precipes, or whatever your name was, I'm sorry. Not someone I think that's following. Uh, maybe someone that was just lurking. But be sure to thank John uh, and enjoy your NES cartridge badge and enjoy your emotes. Uh, and also then Emerald Shield 102 followed, putting us at 751 followers. So we've surpassed our milestone and I can't celebrate with a hey -er. I feel terrible. It sucks. But I th unfortunately, I think these just th these things are just going to happen. Uh, it's all part of my big move to OSD, uh, to OSD, to uh, OBS that it screwed up everything. I'm really sorry, but 
I will have to celebrate again <laughs> sometime soon. But in any case, thank you so much guys for being my last few followers to get us over that milestone. And John, thank you so much for gifting us up. I really mean it. Let's get back to the Lego. Uh, because yes, Shags, I'm going to be trying to finish it today. It's just so embarrassing that it doesn't work. Like it was meant to be epic. And like, I am kind of, was kind of panicking because I was like, I know I have a feeling it's not going to work properly, but my like heart was like that. Gonna bounce, we'll def watch the VOD. Awesome Shags, well thank you for being a member of the VOD squad. I'll see you next time, bud. And thanks for popping in again as well. Man, oh man, oh man. All right, focus on the build. Someone redeemed, focus on the build. Hey Noah, how you doing little guy? Sorry, that's that's condescending. How you doing big guy? I don't know, there's like a hair stuck under there or some kind of fiber at least. There we go. Good luck with the rest of the stream. Thank you, my friend. Hopefully nothing else gets balked. Oh geez, so embarrassing that that didn't work. Noah, we just hit 750 followers in the Square Gang. 750 people strong in this army. Can you believe it? And I tried to celebrate with a Heia and the Heia screen didn't work. So my cameras were all broken. My camera sources, I mean. Good, I helped in yesterday, but uh, black screen happened. Oh no, that sucks. You, you seem to get that problem a lot when you're watching on your phone, don't you? That's rough, buddy. Well, I'm glad to see you here today. Oh, that's... Oh, I'm doing it wrong. That's completely wrong. Oh, when I did hey, uh, it would have muted my uh, bot as well. Hold on. I even know how I have that set up now. Um, 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 what am I meant to do here? I don't know how I had it turned off. Hold on. Let me see if I can get to the bottom of this real quick. Control plus seven. All right, so now hopefully it would work again. The table will be wobbly. Yes, it is. That's rough, buddy. There we go. That's what it is. Sorry for the wobble camera. Everything's a mess. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll thank you for not pointing it out. <laughs> I'm, I'm deeply like flustered right now. It's just what I need, people pointing out how everything's balked. When you really, really have to, uh, to shave and your effing shaving cream is empty? Man, I gave up on shaving cream, I just use soap. <laughs> I just lather it up real good. So I don't think I'm just a dumbass because I'm reading another article that I don't understand. Well, no, we discussed this yesterday. It's the article's fault, not yours. Because they're trying to found all, sound all snobby and smart. Due to deep set insecurity. Sorry, I didn't notice before. I thought something might have changed. And I was doing a, it was a good play. No, no, it's okay, lovely. I was just poking fun. Nothing's changed. It's just I keep bumping it, so I'm like, like that. <laughs> You're doing it right. It's the other pieces that are wrong. That's right. No, no, it's the children that are wrong. Happy to be here without a black screen. I'm happy that you're here without a black screen, Noah. Super happy that you had to join us today. Yeah, sorry, lovely. I was just picking, poking fun at you. I don't. I, I appreciate it coming from a good place. Feel flattered? Should be. 
Because I spoke to you. I pay, senpai paid attention to you. Senpai noticed you. This portion of the build is taking so freaking long because I just keep getting distracted. I'll be getting super tired to be fair. It's been a huge week and I might actually head off. I have to check out of the VOD to see the final result. result. No worries, lovely. If you're getting tired, you go take care of yourself. It is nearly nine o'clock where you are, so completely understandable. Have a great night, have a great sleep. I'll talk to you soon, lovely. Have a good day at work tomorrow. And remember to stay square and I'll see you next time. I really appreciate you hanging out and trying to look out for me as well. Sorry for poking fun pro of getting these brushes I found is that they are for painting miniatures so they could be useful for D&D. Ooh, very interesting Darcy. So you've gone ahead and ordered them? Did you throw in some Mario blind bags for me? See you lovely. Oh and be lovely and uh I'll just press your button one more time just for funsies. I decided to get some soft new pastels too since I don't have many colors in the cheap set I have. That's great and all, but can you, um, can you order some uh, Mario blind bags for me? <laughs> I really want them in case you can't tell. Or maybe don't, I'll just order them for pickup and I'll go to the supermarket as well or something. Wowie, it's Mario. Yeah, check it out. It's Lego Mario time. I freaking love this thing way more than I probably should as an adult man. Ooh, you could add some to your order. Yes, Jesse hates the Mario though. But Jessie's wrong. I saw the ads of it, I looked into it, but my pockets are empty. Birthday and Christmas maybe? I hate it like Square hates circles. I hate circles so much. All my homies in the Square Gang hate circles, though. We wear masks and we hate circles. That's what we do in the Square Gang. Oh, there's a... Really feeling it in my shoulders today, guys. Your birthday was a month ago. True, I remember. Uh, okay, well, maybe for Christmas then. <laughs> it is the coolest. I agree, it is the coolest. Yes, $5 each for the... Uh, for the blind bags. Darcy, if you actually want to, I could go for like three, let's say. You think that's okay? Or should I just get two? You already spended that money from your birthday. Like I said, you're just gonna have to wait for the uh, for Christmas then. 
or get a job. <laughs> it's so amazing. I love this so much. If you want free shipping on them, I'll add them to my order. Yeah. Oh, the free shipping. Darcy, let's say three. I want three. 15 bucks. Let's go. Need to do stretching. Let me host a square gang square stretch sesh. That sounds, that sounds fun. I'll always go for the smaller number. Nah, I want three and I want one of them to be the bob -omb. So can you will that please? I've been stretching every now and then, Mr. Stars. I get up and do a couple of stretches. Darcy, just because I know that I've only get two, I'm going to want to get another one. And uh, I don't want to have to go, like, have to convince you to let me go out to pick them up. Yes, but bombs. I want the Lego but bombs so badly. In fact, Darcy, if you're not in a big rush to order them right now, like if it's not like get it by this day by ordering in the next 10 minutes or whatever. Maybe just leave it. I might have a couple of things I want to add to an Amazon order. Some stuff that we were talking about this morning. Yo, Arns NZ, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Square Gang, man. We just keep going in numbers. Welcome to the Square Gang. Can you imagine if by the time we get to celebrate 750 followers, we're already at 800? <laughs> I know that's asking for a lot, but imagine, imagine. Because I'm always shocked at how quickly we gain followers around here. This has been a very productive weekend. Oh, Noah. Fingers crossed, my dude. Thank you so much for the follow, Arns. Welcome to the Square Gang. I hope you enjoy your stay. For all the new people in the chat, don't forget, you can always join our Discord if you want to hang out on a more permanent basis. We hang out, we have community nights, we have bants, we have chats. It's all a lot of fun. My most place of peace. Did I use the wrong one somewhere? Nani. In the bag? No pieces in the bag. Oh, there it is. Under the manual. It's always under the manual. You have me in it who will rob you of your money to buy more Lego. More Lego. More Lego. More Lego. Sorry for wobbly table, everybody. Okay, now we get the fun part. So these little guys, I've been so looking forward to opening. These special, exclusive, printed parts. Can you, can you see? It's very difficult for me to get this angle. But the little printed Mario sprites. They're so amazing. I can't believe it's actually focusing on them. Aren't they great? You love to see it. And there's gonna be even more in, the, in here, I think. Yeah, there's some in the next bag. I'm pretty sure. Crazy. All right, so we need to put it, the Cooper there. It's weird that it's only one part of a Cooper. It doesn't have his head. 
Only like the body of the Koopa. <laughs> and... Question mark block. It's so cute. I know. They're freaking adorable, man. Good enough. That's better. Can I stomp on the Goomba? Mario can. Oh, I see. I have to put these on here as well. I'm going to put another question mark block up here. You'll see, Noah. You'll see. Oh, wrong pieces. Can't wait to see custom designs that people do for this. And I'm sure that someone's gonna like print a custom piece for like a Mega Man level or something like that. I look forward to that very much. I balls it up. Whoopsie. Man, can you imagine a child trying to do this? The patience required. <laughs> I still put it in the wrong spot. What the heck am I doing, Blizz? Okay, there we go. Has there been any hype trains recently, bro? About an hour ago, we had a hype train that proper barn star Almost single-handedly, a lot of people contributed, but Proper Barnstar and uh, um, who is Knox gifted ten subs each, 
which took it to 230% of level 5. So yes, we had a hype train. I have so many of those orange tool pieces. Yeah, I have like 50 or 100 of these things and I've got about 10 of the teal ones. So the teal ones are a bit more special to me, so I like to use those more. Also, uh, Orange Tool Pieces was my nickname in high school. How you doing, Kalipi Chair? It's good to see you. You have one? What Lego set do you have that you got it from? There's plenty of time for you to get more Lego in the future, Noah. Just get yourself a girlfriend that'll help you uh, keep yourself under control. I recommend that. Well, Teal Tool Pieces was mine. Dude, we're like twins. So freaking hot here in the Netherlands. Oh, John, that. I feel for you, buddy. I guess the Netherlands would be like the UK where your house is. We we're talking about, let's say, your houses are built to insulate heat and keep the heat in the house, and you don't usually have air cons, probably. Be hot like this for another eight days. You're in the middle of a of a um of a heat wave. Heat wave. I don't want a girlfriend, not because I'm gay, which I'm not, by the way. Thank you for clarifying. It's okay, no, I was just making a joke, it's fine. Get yourself a partner then. Uh. Have I kept your Lego collection under control? You have. It would be a lot worse, Darcy, if it weren't for you. I'm gonna get up and take a real quick stretch. I won't be long. 40 degrees in Germany? In Belgium, rather? Damn, that's crazy. I'm just gonna stretch real quick. I set up some manifesting crystals. Wait, what are you manifesting? Full of weather? No air con for me? Yeah, rip. That's the worst. 40.7 is like the actual record temperature for the new. We get up to like 42, 41 pretty much every, every summer here, but that's Australia, you know, our, our house is a built to deal with it. It still gets very, it still gets very hot though. <clears throat> My bob -omb. What are we talking about? Oh, what am I manifesting? He wants a bob -omb from the blind bags. <laughs> Yes, thank you for setting up the crystals, Mr. Styles. All right, I've had a good stretch. No Parker Paragon, I'm not no more. I just uh, had to stretch. No, they're not, it's garbage. Well, I mean, in theory, our, ho our houses are. Okay, we are finishing this with the next bag. Can we get some more new bag hype, please, folks? I want, some, I want to see some new bag hype in the chat. I don't know how to spell the bob -omb. B O B hyphen O M B. That's what you're manifesting. Thank you. New bag of hype. What are we up to? Bag number 19. Emma is manifesting Bob on. <laughs> Thank you for the hype, folks. Excellent. I remember I used to make custom Lego characters with Sharpies. I made like Marvel and Star Wars characters. So the only time I ever tried to make a custom minifigure by like actually like changing the minifigure as a kid 
was when I was like 11, I tried to make a Mario minifigure uh, by painting blue overalls using like regular children's acrylic paint or poster paint onto a red torso minifigure. And I had a minifig head with a, um, with a mustache and a little red hat and I tried to paint overalls on. Needless to say, it didn't go too well. I actually still have the minifigure somewhere. Maybe I'll try and find it over the next few days and show you guys on stream. Just to prove how desperately I wanted there to be Lego Mario when I was young. And now I'm sitting here building a Lego NES with a Lego Mario sitting next to me. Just so you know just how much this would have blown my mind as a wee youngster. Now you guys know I ain't, I ain't fibbing. That was the only time I ever tried to make a custom minifigure. I tried to try to build a Space Marine Warhammer army from Lego. Damn, that would that would be a lot of fun. You know when you were like bitches put all of their info on the inf internet nowadays. Anyways, I am bitches. <laughs> I love that meme, the I am bitches thing. Darcy and I were saying that to each other for ages at one point. And do you mean because you called yourself Emma? Though? That's okay. It's fine. It's your Discord name anyway. So. I thought this thing was about to fall off the desk. I'm going to leave it over here where it's a bit safer. <laughs> My Wayne, one Space Marine was bigger than a tank. Wow. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> we only had three times two blocks. Like, hold on. Oh, my blocks are actually not here. My bricks are... My brick drawers are over there. You mean two by two? That would be, yeah, that would make it very challenging to build something like that. I made a huge army of knights with swords and shields and bows. It was red versus blue. Damn, that sounds like a lot of fun. I love the Lego nostalgia in the chat. I want to hear all of it. There's like two dots by three dots. Four dots. Okay. Yeah, that's more like it. Two dots by three, two, two by fours are a little bit less common than two by four, sorry, two by threes are a little less common than two by fours and two by twos, which is why I was, why I thought you probably didn't just have two by threes, you would have had two by fours. That's like your most standard brick is a two by four brick. My favorite Lego block is 1.5 by one, no 0 0.5 by one. You mean like this? I haven't had Lego in a long time, don't judge. No, it's okay. Damn it, I got snot blocked again. I hate when you try to sneeze and then it just doesn't happen, like at the last second. Snot blocked. Didn't work. I tried to sneeze, it didn't take. God damn it. Thank you for blessing me anyway. feels so unsatisfied now. You stole my sneeze. You did. That's what happens when someone says bless you before you've actually sneezed. It ruins it. My first Lego Star Wars set and my favorite was Luke's Tatooine Speeder. That is a great set. I actually have uh, not the most recent version, but the version from like two years before because they've done another version this year, which is so stupid. Uh, but I did get the one before that, which is really nice. I actually kind of like it better than the new one. Had Luke, Obi-Wan, two Stormtroopers, R2-D2, and C-3PO. Yeah, the one I had only came with Luke, Obi-Wan, and a Tusken Raider, I believe. Imagine sneezing them out. <laughs> my first was a Lego City Police Station. I'm not sure what my very first Lego set was, but if I'm not mistaken, the first one that was actually given to me might have been... It was probably this little uh, set that was a, like a street sweeper with like a brush on the front. 
for the sweep. Ninja and Samurai Lego, dope, dude. We didn't. We had like some castle stuff that was hand me down from my brothers, but I never had ninjas or samurais as a kid. That would have been awesome. I lo I'd love those old sets. <laughs> I found my mum's. <laughs> I found my mum's lightsaber in her dresser as a child. I built a replica out of Lego for show and tell, but my teacher didn't allow me to show it to the class. That's because lightsabers are adult toys, okay? You can't... <laughs> God damn it. I knew exactly where you are going with that as soon as I saw it. I like I liked your jib cut-wise, who is Nox. I do. You're a little cheeky. <laughs> a terrible teacher and a good mother. Are you sure? <laughs> there, are, there are preschool toys present. Please be considerate. <laughs> what sort of lightsaber was it? Uh, what kind of lightsaber do, would you keep in your bedside table drawer, Mr. Styles? Powered. Yeah, that one doesn't need a kyber crystal to run. Gonna go shower and then hang with a friend. All right, Noah, thanks for dropping by, dude. I'm glad that you could watch a little bit without a black screen. Uh, I hope you have a good night. Enjoy having with a friend, and I'll see you next time. Remember to stay square. Always, always square. See you next time, mate. Was it like a double sided like Darth Maul? <laughs> oh, geez. This morning? Okay, well, have a great day, Noah. Have a great day. Sorry, I can't keep track of your time zone as well as mine. <laughs> I had so much like a ninja go. I had all the snake tribes and all the ninja with their gold weapons. I had the fire motorcycle and the giant elements or tank thing. I was into it. No, dude, uh, ninja go is awesome. I uh, don't have a lot of the sets, but I have a couple. And this, the current wave, like, cause it's been going for like 11 years. The current wave is so freaking cool. It's like a board game thing. It's kind of like the Mario thing where you can buy sets and keep expanding upon this game that you can play. It looks awesome. I kind of want to get a couple of them. And the previous wave was like, they were all in a video game. And that was really cool as well. Uh, I only had got one set from that wave, but I kind of want to grab some more if I end up going on clearance or something down the line. Um, yeah, can you believe Ninja Go is still going? Did you like, have you seen and did you like the uh, Lego Ninja Go movie? Because I got like 15 sets or something from the Ninja, from the Ninja Go movie. I freaking, those, some of the most amazing sets were in that line. I got the Destiny's Bounty, I got the Fire Mech, I got the Quake Mech, I got the Dragon. I still need to build the Lightning Jet. Here are the Goombas, Pike or Paragon. If I can get it to focus, that would make me so happy. It ain't focusing. It focused before. There we go. Now you can kind of see him. They're little wedge pieces. They're so cute. I love them. You didn't like the reboot? Oh, do you mean the fact that the Ninja Go movie wasn't like following the original story? I liked that though, because like I didn't know anything about Ninja Go before seeing the movie and the movie just made it like entry level. Like you didn't need to have prior knowledge. It was all just kind of fun. And it's more like a made up story, a made up non-canon story that a kid has made up while playing with his Ninja Go figures, you know? Because that's the thing, like, I don't watch any of the Lego TV shows because I think they're a bit too young for me. Like, don't, not not judging anyone who, who watches them and enjoys them, Power Tube, and I've given them a shot, but I think they're just, um, they're not enough to keep me interested. And I don't like, one of the things I love about the Lego movies, like the Lego movie, Lego Batman movie, the Lego Ninja Go movie, is that everything is made from Lego in those. Or if not, like a lollipop stick or something like that. And then when I look at the cartoons and stuff where it's like, well, this may as well not be Lego because it's just like, that's just regular rocks and that's just regular grass and that sort of thing. And those are just regular houses. I don't like that. I don't like that about the newer games either. Um, I'd rather see everything being Lego, which is one of the things I loved about the movies. 
Um, I don't know where I was going with that. But anyway, I don't watch those shows. So when I go into Lego Ninja Go Movie, I have no idea what it's about. Like, I don't have any of that prior knowledge from canon. And that's what I really liked about it. I liked that it was its own thing. And it's not like it replaced the show or anything like that, because the show kept going. But I do know that a lot of fans didn't like that about it. But personally, I did. I really liked it. Lego Movie was pretty fun to watch. The Lego Batman movie is my favorite one. When I went to see a Lego Batman movie, Darcy will vouch for this, I just sat there with a stupid grin on my face the entire freaking movie. And I was laughing like a nut job. If I, if I wasn't just sitting there with a stupid grin on my face, like I was laughing like a maniac because it was such a freaking funny movie. I loved the Batman one. Star Wars Lego games are dope. I loved them when I was a kid, but I can't get into the Lego games now because I feel like the levels take so freaking long. They're all very derivative of each other. And uh, I don't know, I get too obsessed with the collecting aspect. And like, I, I can't continue until I've got everything, but it takes ages to get everything. So I end up just getting tired of it. The first two Star Wars games were good. I did, I did really enjoy them when I was a kid. Okay, is that everything? Huh, I would have thought I'd have another spare one of these. But apparently not. I'll have to check all my plastic bags when I'm packing them all up to make sure that I didn't miss anything. like angry poo emojis oh my god where's my bonkles we don't say bionicles that's just as bad as legos oh, that's cool they're just quarter circles yeah it is cool um i also enjoyed the indiana jones series of sets ah oh, indiana jones lego sets were in my dark ages i didn't get any of those but i wish i did they look so cool um there's a lot that i missed from my dark ages like monster fighters ah oh, i would have loved to get monster fighters sets man uh, my barnacle are all in huge tubs in the wardrobe in the next room. Maybe one day I'll do a show and tell a barnacle and I'll just talk about barnacle for like four hours on stream. That would be fun. That's my kind of stream. It took me and my dad like three months to get a 100% complete file, but we did it. Dan, that is dedication. Well done. Your rice is finally done, Jesse. Enjoy your rice. It's one of your favorite memories. It's so good to have those sorts of memories. My dad didn't really like playing video games, so I didn't get to getting kind of memories like that with him, unfortunately, but uh, we had other fun memories together, so. First try. That's, uh, I love that try. I always use that. I always use, huh, first try. Love it. Where is that emote from? That's awesome. Coding garden, interesting. Okay, I gotta focus. The bag has been sorted. We must continue. Man, this is so wild. No, not binoculars. Bionicle. The best toy line ever created. My dad loved video games. He liked the ones that made you think. The only one that my dad ever played a lot of was, um, Tetris, which I have talked about on stream before, how my dad cut off his thumb with an electric saw when I was really young. And uh, it was reattached and it was okay, but he had to keep doing thumb exercises. So he was playing Tetris on my brother's Game Boy <laughs> and he got really, really freaking good at it. And um, would play it all the time. But that was it. It, was, it was stopped at Tetris for him. One of his favorite was Abe's uh, Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey. Those are meant to be really good. I can't say I've actually played them. But in my defense, that's because an uh, ex-girlfriend of mine 
was really into them, so it kind of uh, spoiled them for me. You know how that happens.